Your Raspberry Pi needs an operating system, but which one should you choose? Let's look at several different OS's that you can install on your Raspberry Pi right now. Disclaimer: Some Raspberry Pi operating systems may be significantly more useful than others. Several variations of Linux are officially available on Raspberry Pi. There's Raspbian, which is based on Debian. There's Pedora, which is based on Fedora. There's Arch Linux, which is a DIY operating system, and you can also install Ubuntu Mate. Of these, Raspbian is recommended for new users because there are the most tutorials written about it. Fancy trying something else out? The Raspberry Pi Foundation has released Noob's Tool, which allows you to install one or more operating systems to your SD card. Raspberry Pi users have two major media center options. There's OSMC, which is the new name for RaspBMC, which was based on XBMC. OpenAlike is a slimmed down Optimus OS based on Kodi, which can also be used as an alternative to OSMC. 21st century gaming is amazing, but if you're looking for some 8-bit or 16-bit nostalgia, you can use the RetroPie Universal Emulator to enjoy games from classic platforms like the original Sony PlayStation or the Atari. RISCOS, once commonplace in British schools, colleges and universities of the 1990s, has been rebuilt to run on the Raspberry Pi's ARM processor by the original team that designed the ARM processor. Despite the Firefox OS phone being something of a flop and unable to set any foxes or any sort of other small vermin alight, its developers are confident that the, it's a flexible enough OS to be remixed, and as such they're looking to make it a hobbyist alternative to the popular Debian platform. Raspband is a version of Android Lollipop that's been developed for Raspberry Pi Model B+, and the Raspberry Pi 2. It's one of several versions of this sort of OS that have been developed over the years. Wearable computing might seem a bit 2014 at this point, but if you've got an irrational fear of impending nuclear apocalypse, you can do no better than build in your own Pip-Boy from the Fallout series. It's not a genuine OS, but the Python code running here will be enough to fool observers into thinking that you're running a genuine Pip-Boy. That's it for us, but do you have any Raspberry Pi OS's that we've missed? Let us know in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.